my thing is though this is this is actually a controversy in our household Karin's really mad. I feel like a vegan included in this interview, but it's like I, I <laughs> shouldn't have come if you didn't I, want to be included, I'm baby. Aside to you because like this is like an argument in our household. I feel like whenever like groups of friends go and get dinner, I um Black I out. prioritize ambiance <laughs> to food. Mm -hmm. Hey, please join us in thanking Factor for sponsoring today's episode. If you like chef design and chef prepared meals that are ready in two minutes, then you should. You know what you should do? You should head to factormeals.com slash sitchat50 and use code sitchat50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's a total of 70%. Yeah, I don't know if you're supposed to add those two together, but... Um... You can try. <laughs> Thanks so much for Factor for making this podcast possible and all of our other sponsors. All of our other sponsors. Uh, please enjoy the episode. Hello. Good morning. Welcome back to the Sit and Chat. It's a lovely Monday morning. Um, it's actually rainy here in New York City. Right rainy now. here in New York City. Jake's made his way to the city. Uh, yeah, and I have my, my radio voice prepared for today because I didn't get any sleep. It is kind of nice doing it in the morning, though, because I do feel like we have, like, a... A job? No, I was oh. going to say, like, a raspy voice. Oh, yeah. But sure, it also feels like we have a job, too. I feel like How have you been liking... Oh, yeah, Howard sure, Stern. I'll shut up. I like Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I've been liking New York. You know, we had that, uh, what we talked about the other day, where we didn't really know where we were staying for yeah. some time. We worked it out with that uh, very funny man, yeah. And then um, now it's now it's great, and I feel like I have a whole day to tackle. Well, has has anything crazy happened? Something happened to you on the subway? Something annoying happened to me. I was walking through a turnstile, like I was going to scan in, and everyone's leaving the subway, so yeah, I go from one turnstile to the other, to the <laughs> other, to the other, and then finally I'm like, I'm picking this one, and someone's like going to walk through it, and I was like, move, and then I run to the subway and I am at the door as it's closing. Uh, and because that one person was like, yeah, I was like, pick another turnstile. Yeah. Oh, that's brutal. <sighs> I'm so sorry that happened to you. Yeah, it was tough. And I got shot. <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst part that was of really story. Tough. You want to know what happened to me last night? It is so, some dreams. I was standing outside of a bar waiting to meet some of my friends from college. And <laughs> I was just standing there waiting. They were like five minutes away. This girl comes up to me and she was like, hey, I'm a really big fan of your shows. Can I get a photo? And I was like, for sure. She then goes, we take the photo and she goes, are you okay? And I go, yeah. And she goes, are you sure? Like, are you good? And I was like, what's happening? Am I, do I not seem okay? And she was like, no, I was just like, you seem like, I'm like, could it be? a random person is talking to me and I'm standing outside of a bar. Like I, I, what do you mean? And she was like, no, I just was like, you seem off. I'm like, you don't know me. What are you Wait, talking about? What? I'm just standing here. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And then I was, then it made me think I'm like, am I drunk? But I had just left you. We had one drink. One I was drink. like, I'm not drunk. I know I'm not drunk. So I was like standing there like, I did, am, am I like stumbling or something? It was so weird. So then she goes inside. Somebody else comes out and just starts like, asked to take a photo but then just kind of stayed around talking which was fine <laughs> but but then asked like what my prescription was for my glasses and i was like oh i don't know like ne negative three i don't i don't know and then she's like oh yeah i think i'm somewhere around there too she goes can i try yours on wait is this the same person <laughs> no different person oh wow okay yeah but wouldn't, that goes, be cool? <laughs> wouldn't it be cool if you listen to me say that um Ooh. she goes yeah can i try them on and I like didn't, I was so flustered. I didn't know how to be like, no, I want you to try them on. So I was like, sure. And I gave her my glasses and she's like trying them on standing there. And she's like, huh, well, these seem pretty clear. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to need those back. And then I was just like, okay, well, my friends probably should be here any second. And that's what got her away. It was so bizarre, such a, like a bizarre start to like, and then my friends walk up and I'm like, Hey guys, like you guys sorry. want to try these on? Yeah, sorry, the weirdest thing ever just happened to me. Yeah, that's that was my night. And you know what? That's great though. No, nothing happened to you, and you got to meet some new people. Very strange people, but yeah, 
Yeah, how was your comedy show? It was fantastic. The cellar is so cool. Better than the store? Um, it's very different because it's so much smaller. Um, I don't, I don't know because it was my first experience there, so I don't know if I can say it's better than the store. But I really, I mean, like it's a very cool comedy club, and it feels so surreal to see that venue. <laughs> So that venue in person, like I've seen it online a thousand times. I've never seen it and how small it is and how like weird the layout is. It's all, it's all very horizontal. Yeah. Everything's to the side of the stage. Yeah. And I don't know. The lineup was crazy. David Tell is hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. But we should go tonight. I would go again. I would go. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to. Um, should we just get into this with Landry? Yeah, we should. All right. I would like to. Okay. Landry, come on in. It was great talking with you. Yeah. Um, he should have just sat here off camera. Yeah, he is off just camera. Just fact checking yeah. everything I yeah. say. No. And then you have another eyeline to work off It'd of. It'd be good. Uh, Karn's in the background, but uh, Landry is here with us. Hi. Thank you, Landry, for Landry. meeting us today. Oh, my today. God. Thank you, guys. You're New York. How many episodes have you done here? This is our second one. This is our okay. second one. Yeah. I like and you're, you're starting off with the questions. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you take it away. It's yeah. mine now. It's your podcast. The sit and chat is mine now. Yeah. Well, we got her out of bed before noon today, so that's uh. You when Bradley texted ten a.m., I was like, "This is crazy." <laughs> really? <laughs> Genuinely, and that yeah. felt really early. Really? I've just been sleeping a lot lately. That's good. Yeah. Like in a healthy way, or like. See, I don't depressed? know. Sometimes I'm like, no, no, no. I wouldn't say it's a depression thing. I just think <laughs> it's like I love. I love to sleep. Like it's my favorite. I related a lot to that Dakota Johnson. Do you remember when she was like, I sleep 10 to 12 hours a night? Yeah. 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 I, a lot of sleep. I, I don't, I like going to <laughs> sleep. I just love sleep. it. I don't like being asleep. Like, I like, like getting, getting in, in bed, bed at night. Mm. I'm the opposite. I hate the process of falling asleep. Really? It, yeah. I, I just want to like conk out. Are you healthy though? Like, do you put your phone down? You grab a book? Do you have no. like a little nighttime tea? No. no. Okay. No, so it's, just, it's watching like random. Out. She's scrolling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're watching yeah. cops or something like 100%. that. 100%. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Favorite show. Do you have a TV in your room? No. Laptop. A laptop? Yeah. Mm. Do you have a TV? Inch away nope. from the face. Laptop. Wow. Wait, you use a laptop too? I do, yeah. I, uh, do you have a TV? Dark life is different. I do. I mean, in LA, I have a I mean, TV. In yeah. LA. So much I, room. Right. I grew Temporarily, up. Temporarily, you yeah. don't. I grew up needing TV on to fall asleep. Like, had to. I, I was never fall. allowed to, and so I think once I hit, like, 17, I was, like, all in with the TV before I... Laptop, TV, yeah. anything you can get in there, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Um, Landry, we're gonna we're gonna interview you. That's crazy. Okay? So we're gonna try our best to take this seriously. For sure. All right. Um, so why don't you take it from the top? How did you get into acting? Wow. When were you born? <laughs> <laughs> August third, two thousand. Okay. Um, Good to know. Write it down. Yep. How did I get into? Okay. Um, I feel like it's the same story for everyone. Is the Probably. thing. Probably. Like it's the same. Like I started doing the little thing, and mm -hmm. then like the. Um, I started doing community theater when I was five in Arizona okay. um, because I saw a play with my mom and was very jealous that I wasn't on stage. And then when I was nine, I started doing these like little acting classes in Arizona and they had like managers and agents fly in um, to like give advice and stuff. Mm. And so one of the managers liked me, signed me. Um, I went to my first pilot season. This sounds so boring. I feel like it, it's honestly, the same for everyone. It is. When you get into it as a kid, it is very, like, Yeah, there's only so There's a parent. Yeah, there's yeah, not, yeah. like, oh, it's I not like I moved out. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Car, yeah. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't have an apartment for two months. <laughs> I was living in a box. Struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I went to a pilot season with my dad beginning of 2010 and then never left, but... It is interesting though, because pilot season doesn't exist. Anymore. It doesn't exist. No. So you got to experience something as a kid. We all kind of no. like experience the industry at a very different place mm -hmm. than it is now. But yeah, yeah so I kind of miss it. Twenty ten pilot season. Mm -hmm. Was there success in that pilot season? Um, that summer I booked my first film that shot here actually. Oh really? Called The Sitter. Um, and I filmed here for three months, which is like what made me fall in love with the city and wanted to move back here when I was in my twenties. Huh. Wait, the sitter. I yeah, the sitter. what was that? I know it was like Jonah up. Hill babysitting these three kids. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah, mm. fun stuff. So that was that. But um, yeah, you did that in New York. Yeah, shot in New York. 
Was it like a base in like an apartment or what was that? Um, it was like, I think the kids lived upstate mm. and then we ended up, it was like all shot and it all took place in one night and like ended up like driving through the city. Um, but yeah, it's very weird. I feel like looking back like that our parents, I don't know. I, I think of like the perspective of our parents giving up so much. Mm. Oh yeah. It's very like weird looking. Like, I don't know when I have kids, I don't know. Just a very weird thing would you that do they... It? Would you, if they were like, I want to go be on Broadway, I want to go act, I want to go... I think go... it depends on the kid. I, I think if my kid was like, I don't want to do anything else, I have to do it. 100%. I'd say like, all right, cool. I'll help you. Yeah, I'm not going to push you into this, but also like, sure. I think like, you got to be old enough to... I don't think, I, I don't, I wouldn't want the kid to start acting at like nine. Yeah, I mean like, <clears throat> at least not with... I got into it. Let's talk about me now. Um, <laughs> when I got into it, my mom, it was kind of like getting into a sport. I was like, oh, that looks fun. Yeah, and 100%. now I found like a, a love for it in a different, sure. I feel like at like 16, 17, I started having to like rethink it. Because it's almost a thing of like knowing what you want to do before you know who you are. Mm -hmm. And then it's, it's going like, what am I everybody. outside of this? It's very weird. Yeah. My, uh, my thought recently has been... And for all four of us in this room, quit. Uh, four. Yeah, <laughs> there's another person. <laughs> um, yeah, just, just quit. I think for all four of us, probably just quit. It's bad. Um, it, it went uh, perfectly. It went as well as it possibly could. Uh, if you were a child actor, what could you dream of do? Like, let's like comedy, sitcom, whatever. Four 100%. camera sitcom, and it went perfectly for everybody. We all have worked and had success. And even after all of that, we're like, damn, this sucks. You know, like this industry is tough. So it's like, even if it goes perfectly, there's still so much like pain that kind of went 100%, with it. Yeah. And that's when I'm like, I don't know if I won't, would want my kid to do that. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Because also like for all of our parents, they didn't know. They didn't know what was going no. on. My mom today will still be like, I don't know if I could, like if I could redo all that, I don't know if I would have you go on that first audition. I used to say like, oh, I, you know, like I, I do it all again the same and more and more I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I would, uh, yeah, there's a lot of avenues out only because there are 13 jobs that I figured that I learned last night. There's 13 jobs on the East coast right now filming 13. That's really depressing. And it's normally 13 projects. 13 projects. You're saying 13 jobs. Like there's. 13, 13 people jobs. looking right. for jobs. Right, <laughs> That's what I thought there's you were going to say. I was like, wow, this is great there's for There's only yeah. 13 people working right now <laughs> in <laughs> all of Manhattan. It's um, terrible. But usually there's like 100 projects working at one time on the East Coast. Yeah. And that's well, how barren it is. Right or now. even pilot, se pilot season last year was like, I think, what, only two two pilots got greenlit? It's yeah, not crazy. It's just very bizarre. I had a like general meeting last week, and a guy I was meeting with goes, I don't know why he said this, but he was like in the middle of the meeting. He goes, yeah, you're in a tough spot right now. Like, you know, the biggest influx of actors are 18 to 28 year old white females. I'm like, why would you tell me that? Oh, thanks. I was like, thank you so much for the words of encouragement. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, that's yeah. a tough spot to be in. Yeah. I also, I was just like, this that's good to know. Right. right thanks. I dude. was like, thank yeah. you. I really appreciate that. Is a uh, is <laughs> good it, luck separating yourself. Yeah, literally. Like, what? Is a general meeting the biggest load of shit we do in the entertainment industry? They're very interesting. Because I mean, you kind of walk out of it just like, oh, I, this guy's going to put me in 10 movies. Yeah. And, and then, then you, you never, never speak to them again. Couldn't tell yeah. you their names years later, nothing. Yeah. I figured out that it's just face value. If someone sees your tape or sees your name, they're like, oh, that's that's familiar. Yeah. I'll watch that. I think that's about what it's worth. I think. If you're like a first AD or something like that, and you go in and have a general with like a bunch of these different, like different production companies and now, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. He was a good guy. I liked him. Sure. It's a little different for actors. It's like, what are they? I don't know. Right. There Having a conversation. So you're not going to like be like, wow, their mannerisms in that general. Like, yeah, no. they're or, such an enticing person. Yeah. Or even like what they have a project and they're like, it's a yeah, white 25 year old guy. They're not going to just immediately go. Hey, Jake that Shrey. guy. Yeah, Jake Shrey. I, I, that, I had that general. meeting with yeah. years ago. Yeah. That guy was really good. A little puffy that day, but I bet he looks better. Now. He's all he thinks he looks puffy right now. I know I I do feel puffy. Besides, I was out until one a.m. New York got to you, man. Yeah, I know. New York Crazy. City. What's How long are you in town for? Um, <laughs> be asking. 20, 24 more hours, roughly. Okay. And then we're driving to because doing a something in Pittsburgh, so we're gonna okay. drive to Pittsburgh. Love that. Yeah. I feel like you, it's not that far. We're renting a car tomorrow. It's actually not that far. No. Like seven hours. 
Yeah. Uh, three. Seven hours. Oh, why did it? Three. Philadelphia yeah. is like You're literally deep. an hour yeah. and a half. There you go. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Same place, just not. 100%. Yeah. yeah. The geography of the Northeast is so It's weird. Because it's all so crammed together. Yeah. You guys, yeah. You, you did some, you went to like Long Island or or the Hamptons? or The something? Hamptons. Hamptons, yes. Did you go to the Hamptons? Uh, I did go to the Hamptons for five minutes. And then <laughs> five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got I got up there. I, <laughs> you know that, did you know that story? <laughs> no. Dude. I knew you went, but I didn't know it was for five minutes. I rent a car. Natasha and I drive up there. <laughs> immediately we were like no nope, no nope. because the place like we went was just it's such a long story that it's not even worth telling I'm, i don't even want to ruin your interview with this okay. story you can uh, all i know is that it was supposed to be a nice sunny day and then it ended up being a torrential day. did you not have like a hotel you were gonna stay at uh it was just kind of a, it was just a mess okay the whole thing it's got it I'll, I'll get into it uh even down to the lobster roll i had load of disappointment did you go uh, to um what was it called karen the lobster roll place the red sign. Red lobster. <laughs> you don't remember? Yes. Crab roll? You can talk. You can speak. I, 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 I don't know. You don't oh, know. Oh, great. Okay, well, good. thank God he sign? spoke. That was Where you love the lobster roll? It was like a big red sign. You didn't go our, there. We got our caption okay. now. Yeah, I think yep. we're going to move Landry on from this Bender conversation. Landry Bender asking Corin about lobster, lobster rolls. rolls. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Would you ever think when we were 13 that we'd be roommates? Isn't that so funny? No, it's crazy. No, I wouldn't have pictured any of the things that are happening, happening right, right now. No, Wait, this is weird. Yeah. None, um, of, none of this would have made sense. Which leads to my next question. What do you, what I do you think? I would have said, like, wow, the, that sucks for all four of them. The, the biggest difference between <laughs> living in LA and living in New York in terms of your job and like what you want to do. I feel like... LA was kind of like taking away my spark a little bit. Mm. My spark, please. Your sparkle. <laughs> please, of Sparkly course. cute. Um, <laughs> I just felt like it was like the place I waited to book the next job instead of like some a place I enjoyed. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas here, it's fun to like meet new people and they're like, I'm an architect. Like it's like completely, and they don't really care about the industry. Mm-hmm. Um but they also aren't weird about it in the way that they would be in like Idaho of like yeah. it being so glitzy. Shout I don't know. It's Idaho. refreshing. Just, just wreck Idaho. Idaho for no reason. Hey. Damn. <laughs> so, those weirdos are in Idaho. <laughs> yeah. Now I feel that. I, I think you're not, uh, you're not wrong. Um, but do, do, do your fam- does your family still live in LA? My family's still in LA, yeah. Okay. So I can kind of be by coastal because they have their place there. Yeah. Um, so it's been nice to be able to just like stay with them when I'm there. But... And then you can work locally. If... 100%. Yeah. yeah. Do you think? What? Go you... ahead. Go ahead. What are you going to say? Uh, yeah. Why, uh, well, just, is, why is it so, why, why does it feel like everyone I know in LA is, is moving to in, New York? Well, it is moving to New York, but also is just in the industry. Like, I don't know. That's, I feel that way too. I mean, unless you meet like students, like, you know, people from college that aren't in the industry, but like. Yeah, it's been refreshing to like make friends that. Are totally are. outside. Like, I have a friend that works at JP Morgan. Like, it's like so like yeah. nice. Yeah. Mm. That's a, my, when I came here and visited my cousin, she had a bunch of friends that are in finance. And so I met a bunch of people in finance. They were like, oh, you're an actor? That's cool. Yeah. And they were talking to me about the stock market for 45 minutes and I had no idea what was going on. Yeah. I think it's also different for me, though, being from LA. That's fair. Like, my, I have so many friends that don't work in the childhood friends yeah. and school. And then also yeah. going to college there. A lot of my friends, but that's kind of why I'm like, I don't need to live in Los Angeles. I love like where I grew up and I think I would live there. I would love to buy a home there, have some kids there, but like living in LA, like the city, I, I don't, I don't think I need to do that again. Mm. Yeah. It just got old. Not to say I won't ever move back, but. You need to change pace. Yeah. Yeah. I think also not going to college was like it felt like there was, I guess you still went in LA, but I didn't, I hadn't done like the, the. Th- I felt like I was perpetually 12 in some ways. If that totally. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've known a lot of the same people. Right. For. Which know, is like really decade. nostalgic and great, but it's also, I nope. feel like I just needed to shake things but up. But it is kind of weird though, because like you, yeah. you hang out with the same people and then it's kind of jarring because you're like, these people that you knew at 17 years old, now you're celebrating their 30th birthday Please, and yeah. they're kind of doing the same exact thing that they were when, you were 17. At Nolan's house. like Yeah, it, you're just kind of <laughs> like, man, we got to change this up a bit. Yeah. Like, it's kind of scary. Yeah. I, I always say my my dad 
moved from Sacramento because he was like hanging out with his friends and he was just sitting there one night and they were like, he was like, we do this same thing every single night and these people are never going to change. And I know I'm never going to change if I continue to be around them. So then that's why he moved away because he was just like, I can't. And he was, and he's like, no, they still do the exact same thing. Yeah. You know, and that's kind of like a scary thought. Cause you're like, well, am I, do I need to move? Do I got to go do this? Yeah. Right. Is stuck it in the situation? Yeah. Groundhog's Day every day. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But it's nice to be here. Have you been liking it? I love it. I think it's a, I, I love living here. I think my life is in Southern California. Fair. So it's kind of hard to, most of the time, it's been nice having him here. Cause I feel like, oh, like this is, feels like more like home. Normal. Not yeah. To like really yeah, baby. hype it's you up. Beautiful. My home. <laughs> but like, I don't know. We have, we're doing the podcast. Like it's familiar faces. It's like, it's kind of nice to feel like I'm doing my thing that I would do in Los Angeles. But I will tell you the one thing I miss. I miss my car. Hey, we're back to tell you some more about Factor. Hey, it's September. And this month, sure is. I think you should fuel up with Factor's no prep, no mess, yummy meals. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready to eat in just two minutes. So no matter how busy you are, like Jake, guys, always on Dude, the move. Pat. You, you always have time to enjoy deliciousness. Make your day delicious and treat yourself to restaurant quality meals. I mean, why wouldn't you just do it now? What are you waiting for? Well, why don't you tell the people some of the food you've eaten? Head to factormeals.com slash sitchat50 and use code sitchat50 to get 50% off your first box and 20% off your next month. What do you want me to tell them? What would you use that deal for? Like, what would you eat? Oh, well, I had many, many of foods sent to my door. Uh, I had this roasted red pepper tortellini. Mm. And the, the, great, the greatest part about the meal besides the deliciousness is that you take it out of the fridge and you put it in the oven, you put it in the microwave, you forget about it until it's done cooking, mm -hmm. and then you throw it on a plate and you're eating. As a man who uh, has severe, severe <laughs> ADD that's still undiagnosed, um, I, I don't have time to sit over a stove sometimes and I need to do like 15 other projects and I, and I eat while I'm doing stuff. So this way I can throw it in the oven, throw it in the microwave, and I'm eating 10 seconds later. Well, and you know what's nice? With 35 different meals and more than 60 add-ons to choose from, every week you'll have just new flavors to explore and they'll be at your doorstep. And not everyone's a psychopath like Bradley. That's they don't right. need to keep their kitchen clean mm. all the time from cooking. Yeah. Bradley's constantly cooking and cleaning. Not anymore with Factor. No. He's also, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he does not have to clean every single meal. This, this is uh, efficient. Yep. in more ways than one. And honestly, one of my least favorite parts of cooking is the prep work that goes into cooking. And with Factor, there's absolutely no prep because I do enjoy high quality meals, but this gives me a high quality meal without having to go through the hassle. So if I got 20 minutes and I need to get something in my stomach, I don't have to like chop, 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 yeah, do, do, do. Chef you prepared, know? chef so design. Head to factormeals.com slash sitchat50 and use code sitchat50 to get 50% off your first box, plus 20% off your next month. That's code SITCHAT50 at factormeals.com slash SITCHAT50 to get 50% off your first box, plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. Go, Thanks. go to the, the website. So much for listening, and thank you, Factor. Yep, thank you, Factor. I am not meant to drive a car. <laughs> mm. I'm like not meant to operate a vehicle. Um, yeah, two days before I was supposed to turn it in to move here, I no. yeah, no, yeah, it no. was my fault. What did you do? I I was I glanced at my phone. Oh, oh but it shit. was it was a can't bump. even believe you admitted that. Yeah, I did. You and such a glanced. At I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. My phone. You were. You I glanced at my phone and the car rolled a little bit. There was no scratches on the car in front, but there was on mine. And so I had to get it fixed before turning it in, which was just icing on the cake. Yeah. How's car not driving? Um, good from the times I've been in. Actually, yeah, he's great. Good. Okay. And well, compared well. to me, Damn. fantastic. Grinning. Shit eating grin over there. Oh God, no. He's got one of those. The way he's coy, jerk but like oh, the decided to like come sit in. You know what I mean? Like he's trying to act like he's not here, yeah. but it's like you didn't have to join. You didn't have to come. Totally. You know? Yeah. He just wants yeah. to get coffee with us afterwards. I get it. 100%. You know? Um, okay. But so uh, we went off on a total yeah, we did. wrong tangent. So yeah. 2010, you come oh, right. here. All right. Um, to working where we all met. 100%. Okay. So 
the Frank following. <laughs> Take me Why do Frank I remember Kidding. that week so so well? vivid? Like yeah. of all the promos and With all Steph the years, Curry. of course. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who else? There's other. There's another basketball. Tyson player. Chandler, Tyson, DeAndre Jordan, Jordan, DeAndre Jordan, and Ken Fareed. Yeah, really weird group of people. Really weird. Very odd. Only and a bunch of thirteen year olds. People care about. Is, also, is the cool. fact that we were at CBS Radford, I feel like, was crazy. It's just the best lot. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah. Um, okay, following year, booked Crash and Bernstein, which was that show that Frank's giving happened at probably mm -hmm. like a year or two later. We did the yeah, that week yeah. of those promos, but yeah, so did two years on that and then the other Disney show, but right, was that like a getting Crash and Bernstein? Was that like a big childhood goal? Was that like something very exciting because it was different? Sorry, I left my boat outside. Um, Big city. Yeah. Well, see, for us, I think we went to Disney XD after doing Disney. I did opposite. Yeah. yeah. did mm -hmm. the opposite. So I feel like a lot of girls did the opposite. Like Olivia Holt yeah. did the opposite. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like it was like a backwards thing. Oh, yeah. What did she do on Kicking It? Kicking It. She did kick, what did she do after that? I didn't do it. I, yeah, that's right. It's like, that's oh, right. That. Yeah. They didn't do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um season three they didn't do is what they, that was. Right. Um, I feel like it was a big dream of mine. I just I I I feel like probably for all of us, like the Disney Channel thing was what we always watched and so we wanted to do to do it. Sorry, I feel like I didn't sleep well last night. And so I'm like You know what? I was just thinking was about how I used to I used to tell Austin all the time when he was on I didn't do it, I would say, you know what, I, I think I, I, I didn't watch it. Oh, that's a good joke. Great. Well, so anyway, let's take a little, let's let's make it an easier question now because I want to ask about this. Uh, Bradley has been talking about the food scene here for probably every waking second that I've been here. Okay. okay. Um, sure. What is your? Do you like the food scene in LA? Are you? I'm sorry. In New York versus LA, do you feel like you're eating too much pizza? I love pasta. Oh, I'm a big nice pasta taste. girl, um, and so that's been great. Pizza's great. Yeah. But my thing is, though, this is this is actually a controversy in our household. Karin's really mad. I feel like a vegan included in this interview, but it's like I, I <laughs> shouldn't have come if you didn't I, want to be included, I'm baby. Aside to you because like this is like an argument in our household. I feel like whenever like groups of friends go and get dinner, I um Black I out. prioritize ambiance <laughs> to food, mm -hmm. which is like a, a stupid thing for me to do. Yeah. But like whenever someone's like. Does he prioritize the whenever, food or? Does yeah, he prioritizes the food, but I feel like whenever someone's like, do you like this restaurant? I think of like the place, not the actual mm. meal. Mm. Yeah, no. Which is strange. I'm kind of with you on that. Do I you know what I mean? Buy. Like if someone's like, do you like to go to blank? I think of like the like, like it, oh, do I like environment. Restaurant? Yeah. I could see that with drinks. I would mm. rather go to like a cool bar. Sure. You know, something like that. But food, like I need the like good food. I'll take hole in the wall sushi. Give me hole in the wall pad thai. You know? Yeah. Like I prefer hole in the wall pad thai. Mm. You know what I mean? Whereas like I feel like when it's like a big restaurant, like a big sceny restaurant for something like sushi or pad thai or whatever it is. We gotta talk about your pad thai issue, man. You gotta you gotta get some like pad kimao or no, I could eat is that your I big eat chicken pad thai all day, every day. I could eat just by the bowl. Have you found a good place here? I haven't. Hmm. I was just saying that last really? night. No, I haven't found I don't know one. I haven't found one that like I'm like, oh god, I gotta go there all the time. My favorite pad thai genuinely is down the street from my apartment in Woodland Hills. Then you're good. I know. I could eat that. Oh, I could eat that all day. And that's the best part about pad thai is it's like that. It's also I, crazy go to the next when question. you like just, eat now a I'm meal. So fucking hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. It's crazy. I haven't eaten today. Um, no. it's crazy when you eat a meal every day. I'm not making sense. No. It's mm. crazy when you eat I eat a meal every day. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Ah. It's crazy when you eat a meal so often and then you get sick of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't like, done that with pad thai. Oh, that's good. I I went I ran that course with sushi. Sure. I ran through sushi. Here? Just in life. Oh yeah. You've had too much in life. And I love sushi. I could eat it if you guys were like, hey, let's eat it for breakfast. Uh -huh. For sure. But like, I, there was a time where I was eating it probably four or five times a week. That's a lot of sushi. Yeah. And then I got fat from all the rice. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. So anyway, we don't need to get into that. I, I do kind of agree with you, though. When I think of places, I think of like where I sat. 
Was Thank the service you, nice? What it looks like? We went to Little Ruby's last night. It was super cute. I love Little, Little Ruby's. 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 Delicious. It's a perfect like brunch or like yes, great spot. Dinner. And then yeah. they have a burger. Little fantastic burger. Is that what they have had? a really good. I've burger. never had their no. burger. Their sweet potato fries are fantastic. I had a I BLAT there, bacon, lettuce, avocado, oh, yeah. tomato. Mm. BLAT. Perfect. There's a place Flat. across the street called Bobo's. Never been. It's a little like a little bar, a little bar, a little restaurant, and I love. That the the like walking down the steps and eating in a, what I would I mean it's a basement right what else is it called I, the yeah, basement the basement yeah oh, I like the basement eats it feels very European it does feel very European would you ever live here oh I would live here we're talking about it right now do you want to yeah you want to you guys should stay. move here to oh yeah you want to stay I'll stay if you come oh me that'd be crazy if you're saying like you feel more at home with Jake here and then you and then move home and he comes here that is no that's just something Jake would do sure that's such I, a Jake move. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, it's just happen. great here. I just like I would sell anyone on it here. Yeah, it is. I will say, uh, the people why don't here people like it? I don't think it's people. There's ten million people here, so <laughs> people like it. Sure, sure, sure. It really is like your cup of tea, or it's not. Yeah. His whole thing, though, really, is that he has so much family in LA. For sure, like, that's fair. For sure, it, and also like, and if you're gonna have a kid, you're gonna have a kid in LA because I would never ever raise a kid here but there's so many kids here see i feel like raising a kid in the west village would be like really cute oh uh, super cute. you know what i yeah. mean until until like take them to the playground like the six person strollers they just fit in well until they're like dad do you want to go outside and throw the ball and i'm like no we can't we'll get central go. park yeah okay let's go hop on the train for 30 minutes and then we'll go i i saw dad and his uh little his daughter get on the subway yesterday and people were blocking the doorway and he was like, as he was getting on, he was like, watch this. And he goes, excuse me, please. <laughs> and then the, like part of the Red Seas and she like walked through and he was like, see, that's what you do. Oh, wow. It's Teaching crazy how to too. navigate city life. Kids here, like they, they ride the subway alone when they're like 10. Yeah, that's insane to me. It's insane to me. But to be fair, I don't think the crimes in New York are necessarily kidnapping. They're probably more mugging. And, and you're punching. probably in more danger than, oh yeah, the punching the white women thing. Yeah. That was crazy. A serial puncher. <laughs> that was nuts. That is crazy. I was on alert. Was it, dude, was he was just going around graphic. punching white women? Yeah. There were all these white women on TikTok. You didn't see this on TikTok, like with like welts on their faces, yeah. sobbing. It was awful. Damn. I told Bradley before you got here that I kind of look like I do that. Like, <laughs> I look like a serial puncher. Yeah. Where is this hat from? So that's from uh, Nebraska City, Nebraska. That would be the puncher. This would be the puncher. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You give puncher vibes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I had was out a little late last night. Sure. Punch. Strung out. I got a punch. Have you had anything? Day. Any crazy like, encounters? Yes. Subway story. What's your subway story? Um, I I sprained my ankle in the subway. What? Wow, that's just so <laughs> not what I thought you were gonna go with. <laughs> so, I thought maybe this is another instance to it was be like on my the phone. Stairs and wasn't yeah, like you just getting tripped on the a little bit. <laughs> I fully like. I like lost. No, I, I don't know if I lost consciousness, but what? I like. <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> also, hang on. also, what I've learned living with Karen is like, when I have people like super like my. I don't know. I, I think I'm a lot more chaotic than I come across. <laughs> like, he's like, you come across a lot more chaotic the closer people get with you. But, like, I don't know. I think people think I'm a lot more put together than I am. But I fully fell down the stairs going on the subway and was, like, lost consciousness. Wait, those are, like, hang on, God. dude. My expensive what? purse is, like, laying on the floor. You're hang on. laid everywhere? Hang on. And people were crowded around. People were, like, <laughs> I thought they were like, like, crowded around. They just around. walked around you. They were, like, stepping over you. It That's was way awful. Better. I know. People were, like, are you okay? But it's the thing of, like, you're so embarrassed. You're, you're so you're embarrassed. Just laying but, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I'm, I don't know. Like, people are, I, when you're so embarrassed that you fall and so i'm like t telling everyone i'm fine when i'm like in such bad pain my ankles like purple <laughs> it was awful yeah that's my subway story so you were walking <laughs> <laughs> i was walking down the steps were you on your phone yeah i was Get off your phone man you just <laughs> know, caused yourself bad. problems it's so really you bad. trip and did you fall down the whole flight yeah, uh, I like tripped over my own foot and fell down like five stairs. But I've fallen down a lot of stairs in life. Like it's like a thing that's happened. Oh my um, god! Okay, so you should never drive or walk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's tough. I never fully learned how to walk, but that's my subway story. 
I, I was going more for like, did anybody try to stab you? No. No? No. Okay. no this is I all self in that regard. Yeah. It's all self-inflicted. <laughs> God. Um, an, I just thought of this another New York story. Um, again, <laughs> self-inflicted. Um, this woman asked if I would buy her something in the bodega. Mm-hmm. And unhoused. Unhoused. Not homeless. Unhoused. Where the wrong people Experiencing are. homelessness. Yeah, experiencing homelessness. Asked me to... Um, buy her something from the bodega so i thought it would be like chips or water <laughs> she starts walking around going on a shopping spree and i ended up spending 65 dollars oh my god <laughs> oh yeah. bro that as she starts to walk around i'm like never mind She's out like, I'm shampoo leaving. conditioner socks new crocs like shoes no <laughs> no 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 my mom calls me the other day and she goes i just passed a somebody standing on the side of the freeway holding up a sign <laughs> with their Venmo on there. I did, it's like you have I, a phone. Yeah, like, you, you, have, you, a I can you have a phone. Like, yeah. yeah. This was my idea years ago. I wanted to stand on a corner and see if I could get anyone to Venmo me. Oh, you easily and, could. You could. Have you seen the and people who drive around with, like, just got married, here's our Venmo? Yeah. Like, and Buy people, us a drink yeah, or whatever. Like yeah. Yeah, that's that's weird. That's it not something weird. That's weird. I've, I've, go seen, there, I've seen people, like, with phones that are experiencing homelessness. Oh, it's pretty, I think there's like a, there's some sort of stipend where you can get one. It's almost, it's almost oh. to the point where it's like a right now, isn't it? To get a phone? To get a phone or like have access to the internet. Do pay phones still work? But how does that work though? Cause don't you have to have a residency to get a phone? Like how would you have a phone number? Uh, I don't know. Oh, well, well what about Could like they... Cricket Wireless, man? Oh. They might hook it up. Could they use like a shelter as their address? This is crazy. Yeah. This is a good theory though. I like that. Even but if do I, do we think payphones are still like able to be used? Yeah, but do payphones you think they are know still phone numbers. Who are they calling? Whoa! Oh, I was talking about this with someone the other day. People, you know that people memorized numbers throughout the '90s and '80s. Like people just knew people's home yeah. phone numbers. Like I know catalogs. both of my parents, and that's it. From like being say, a yeah, child. I know my whole family. I know a whole family. I know all. Like how many numbers? Um, I would say. I probably know our home phone, my parents, and all three of my sisters. Oh, that's not as many. I think, uh, I'm thinking all, all, all the brother-in-laws yeah. and everything. No, I feel like because you used to have to know it. Mm. Yeah. And then now I wouldn't even. I imagine most kids today will Don't. never learn phone numbers. I know my grandma, my grandpa, my mom. You know what else they're also teaching? They're not teaching anymore is um the cursive. Like, no. Calligraphy. Clocks. <laughs> like, Wait, what? <laughs> <That's not laughs> They're not teaching analog clocks? No, because they, why would they, actually, I'm, I've not been to an elementary school in a long time, fact check me on this, but I swore someone told me that, because why, why do you need? Yeah, I know. I, I'm sure, I mean, like, for me, it was, I remember the curriculum, it was like two or three weeks, where we would, it would, yeah, it was worked in with something. <laughs> <laughs> you guys specifically we, worked on clocks for two or you three You did weeks? too. I don't think so. You did, yes. It's in your, it's in your math textbook. And I, we, we used to sit down and look at the diagram. I mean, it's not like <laughs> literally three weeks where they're like, all right, nothing else and just clocks. It's worked in with other stuff. But I remember taking the test and I was like, I can tell time There was time a now. clock test. Well, they yeah, fully I could tell time. I felt like a badass. cursive anymore. That's fully gone. Cursive's gone. That's kind of sad. Gone, yeah. Which is sad because I, I, I don't know. What do you do, though, when you get to a train station mm-hmm. now in 10, in 10 years and these kids are like, oh, my God, I forgot my phone. Ah, what is that? Or forty. I, don't I know. feel like people would read it scary. wrong too. They'd probably think that the big hand would be the hour. You know what I mean? Mm. For a second, I'm like, like it's know. not, and then I'm like, no. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would think that like the minute would be the hour. You know, this is gonna be a hell of a clip, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, also, a lot of clocks. Um, you just reminded me. This is another like New York thing um, so you fell down somewhere else no. mm. but when you said like kids falling. forget their phones my phone has been perpetually dead all around the city oh yeah um because i don't have like a charger in the car so i will ask anyone to use their charger okay first off Man, that's restaurants a couple, coffee shop a couple things they're always if you ever ask me for a phone charger i'll probably be upset because I'm gonna go. Why didn't you charge your phone at night? Did I never. Know? I woke up at one percent. That's when I. Oh my. Go to bed with it in the charger. It's simple. The iPhone will get you through the whole day. If you charge at Sometimes night, it doesn't. You could get through the whole day. 
if you get to 100%, how much? I agree what's your with screen you. Time? The logic here, I agree. It's just not. Well, let me look. I can't talk about this with Mika anymore. I can't. What's her, time or phone? what's her screen time? No, no, not, not her screen time. Oh. That she has a charger by her bed that I put there. And, and she doesn't she charge still it? doesn't charge her phone. Girl after my own heart. Um, oh, man. That's the worst. Screen time. What was, what was our screen time? We were both around like three hours. Oh, no. We were like five that day. Three, yeah, it, that day. But like on average, it was like three to four. I was having a bad week. I think I was like five. I don't want to say mine. Please tell me. Seven and a half. Seven. Seven. Oh, Landry. Yeah. But you know what? It's worse that like we genuinely do. I do use my phone to communicate with people for important reasons. I'm not like sitting there scrolling for but four hours. Right. Kids are spending like 10 hours on social media it's so a sad. day. Think about this. How many hours that is in a week? Oh, it's a full time job. <laughs> you, full you spent a full time job. job on your phone. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, but we don't have full time jobs. That's so you know. Well, you gotta <laughs> waste it somehow. Yeah. I guess that's a great way of looking. This at is it. content. I'm doing research when I'm on my phone, right? Right. Yeah. Going through the trades. Mm. Going, yeah. I'm just oh, that I like that. On idea. Smart List, they always talk about how Jason Bateman's going through the trades. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. That's, that's what funny. we're doing. We're doing Smart List right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Final Part question for you. Surprise guest. What, what's like your <laughs> dream project? What's like your dream work? Like, what do you want to get into? What would be like your best career move you could think of? Oh, yeah. Do you want to get into like directing or writing or anything? Or yeah, quitting. I, you could quit. You could quit. I, I, that's pretty I cool. wish I was Suggest good at something that. else. To, you know what I mean? I'm like, I don't know what else there is. Yeah, I know. You know to, um, no spot to be in. Yeah, it's true. Um, I love writing. I'd love to write and produce. Um, but also just like, to get to do to get to do projects that like challenge me mm. um to get to feel like challenged and have a bit of imposter syndrome as scary as that is it feels like to like earn something like that is really cool um so yeah i i think just like being able to switch it up and pick projects that are like way outside of my comfort zone and can like push me um would be great whether that's like comedy drama some sort of like biopic. I don't know. What mm -hmm. do you lean more towards, comedy or drama? I think because we did so much comedy as kids, um, I remember being like 17 and 18 and people would say like, oh, you're so funny. Like you're so good at comedy. And I would take it as that I wasn't good at drama and it mm -hmm. would really get in my head. And mm -hmm. so for a few years there, I was like trying to almost like prove that I could do drama because I took it as like an insult in yeah. a way um but now I'm like there's so many good comedic things out there there should be more but um yeah I, I go back and forth I yeah. think I would love to like ping pong back and forth ideally yeah mm -hmm. is there somebody's career that you're like that's I love Emma Stone mm. um she's a big Betty White fan too I am yeah I've always loved her I think also like her longevity um well her work terrible news for you she's passed away she has but she worked she reached her longevity worked for like i don't know 170 years i think yeah <laughs> yeah i mean genuinely though what she died at 98 something like that how many she was still doing stuff yeah like, Does Emma a couple years have? before i don't think she she has la la land i think that's it no, she, won Oscar? she just won for for poor things yeah what did she win she, she did actress. just win for Put More Things. About? Yep, she two. One best right. actor. That's right. Two. Yeah, That's a great career. She's great actually. and so funny. So funny. And so just... And so very, very and honest. And so. Very, yeah, and so. Um, very, very honest character actor. She's fantastic. 100%. Crazy, I love... Crazy Stupid Love. Oh, Man. so good. You know, like, oh, crazy Stupid so Love. She just did there. this Actors on Actors like last year with Bradley Cooper and started out the whole Actors on Actors by going... Poopsie Coopsie, how are you? And it just like made me laugh. <laughs> I'm like, the two, that's... I love the two of them together. I do too. I know. I watched that, that interview together too. They're, they're so sweet. The one on one thing? Yeah. They interview each other? Yeah. Karin and I keep having this conversation of like what pairings we would all do for actors on actors, like all of us. Like, like who would be a cool pairing? Okay. What are, what, what are, who, who would Jake be with? Kamala Harris. She's in. <laughs> She makes her debut. <laughs> um, who would Jake be with? <laughs> you know what? Oh, my God. I would pay so much money to watch that one-on-one. -on -one. Jake Short and Kamala Harris. <laughs> I would be intellectually It would also be time. funny to see you with, like, Helen Mirren. Like, some, oh, like, random, yes. like, 
It makes no sense. Love Hanye. Who would I be with? Ferdinand. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, off the top of my head, like Vince John Vaughn Travolta. would be. Okay, Vince Vaughn. Oh, he God. does love. That's Vince my Vaughn. favorite comedian. Like I feel like that'd be like an older like mentorship. I would. That, I, I mean, would, he actually kill. wants that. I would kill to sit down and talk to Vince Vaughn. I think he's just the funniest guy. I could see that for I you. I really do. I think he is hysterical. Vince, John, did you say John Travolta? I did. Yeah, That's I'm trying to think crazy. this one funny. You know, I love John Travolta. I think Travolta is great. Grease was a big movie. I, know, I just like to see you like chat with do him, do a one on one with him, riff yeah, with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah dude. Me and Burt Travolta Reynolds. doing bits. Burt Reynolds is dead. He's dead. Yeah, so that'd be tough. Yeah, it would. He died a while ago too. A while ago. Anyway, well, Landry. I feel like this went by so quick. Thanks. It always does. Easy. Yeah. Hop on yeah. in, Karin. Come on. No, he's not <laughs> going to do it. Karin's um, here. Thank you very much for coming this morning. Oh, my God. Of course. Thank, thank you guys for yeah, having me. Thank we Honor. got you out of bed. I yeah, know. I rolled out of bed for this. Do you Great. genuinely, what time do you usually rise? Do you set an alarm? I would say I, these days, when I first got to New York, I don't know if it was the time change or what, but it was like one or two. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was really bad. Now it's like 10. You get out at 10. Yeah. Are you waking up at 10? I'm waking up at 10. <laughs> so you're waking up at 10. Yeah. You're going to scroll for 35, 45 minutes. I'm out the door at 11, 30. <laughs> that's painful, man. Yeah. That's painful. It's a good life. No, I mean, that's. I feel like New York is awake at night. It doesn't really matter when you start your day as long that's as you beautiful. have your day. That's beautiful. City that never sleeps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it really does never sleep. I sleep, yeah. yeah. You sleep for sure. So much. Um. Well, thank you for doing this. Oh Time God, for you to go back easy. to bed. Thanks yeah, for coming you, out. I'm going to go sleep. nap now. Are you actually going to nap? I, I thought about it when I woke up. <laughs> That's nice. All right, Langey. Thank you for doing this. Bye, guys. Hey, wow. What a great person. Wow, is. Landry. What a, wow. what a time. Thank you. <laughs> um, boy, was that. Boy, do we nice film these in, in such a strange order. Um, but you know what's so great about Landry is that she was speaking. And that's uh, that's something that we value in a guest a lot. And also that she uh, showed up. That's pretty cool, too. That, that's the key. We've had people not show up. Yeah. Literally. Literally not, not show, show up. up. Yeah. Um, we still have that episode waiting in the wings, by the way. Oh, I liked that episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We did an episode. Um, we did an episode because people didn't show up. And we just sat there just like, well, I guess we're doing an episode, just the two of us. Oh, and it was angry. You were pissed because you didn't want to do it. Um, yeah, and you you said some things that shouldn't be online. Yeah, but I think we could we could roll. We that. could probably release it. I'm already saying tape? things let's, that shouldn't be online anyway. Right? Let's uh, what Jake's career ending <laughs> comment right here. Nice. Um, do you have any questions for me? Uh, yeah, Bradley. Uh, have you ever been wedgie? <laughs> no. You don't want to answer that one? No. Um, someone said, "Did you know that's the 11 year anniversary of Mighty Med?" Wow, that is depressing. Insane. That is. Great. So, do you have so, another question? Um, not I mean not not uh no, I don't have another question. It That's was good. mostly the wedgie thing. Okay, no, I've never been wedgied, and I don't know why we're answering this question on this podcast. Um, did you? Oh, I can ask you a question. How did you like Dallas? Um. Yeah. Okay. Great. Good answer. I don't know. Dallas is just it's it's going to sound rude. It's just kind of a place. It's not 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 a lot going it's on. It's just for a you. place to me. You're you've been uh you've been all over the place this summer. Oh I yeah I know I've traveled a lot this year actually. I was thinking about it. I've been to Arizona fourteen fucking times. Mm. Have you gone to Boston while you've been here? Or no, no, That's I have crazy. not. I know, and I love Boston. I would go there in a heartbeat. But um yeah, I've been all over. I've been to Napa. I've been to Arizona a bunch. I've been down to San Diego. I've been to Texas two times now. I've been to uh obviously New York multiple times. And then went to Baltimore. You love that city? By the way, I'm so sorry if anybody who watches this podcast is from Baltimore. I would argue that's my least favorite place in this world. Do you know how many times we insult people in their cities on this podcast? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I saw a clip of us where we were ranking the top five worst cities in the world. And half of them, I was like, I've never, I've never spent a <laughs> considerable amount of time Portland. to make this judgment. I flew into Portland one time. And I ripped it to shreds. Ripped it to shreds. And people in the comments were like, what's wrong with Portland? Uh, we actually like, went there for uh, a little acai bowl on the way to the airport. And it's very nice. Uh, 
it's like there's some very cute parts of town downtown portland different story don't want to be there but like the little outskirts outskirts <laughs> baltimore was baltimore's not a good place no no i liked the stadium i went to the orioles game and i liked that a lot baltimore itself if i never go back there i'll probably live a happier life okay yeah well let's uh let's end there and and uh, indiana okay. indiana That's sucks my insulting. god it sucks just unnecessary <laughs> no what is it where did you where are you from I'm from indiana no but gary or something like fishers that? You're from Fishers? Fishers. Even that. What a horrible name for a city. So I'd like to say one thing before we let you go. Um, this is you, the last episode of the podcast. You goddamn saints out there. You motherfuckers. That's what I want to say. Uh, please leave a goddamn motherfucker. <laughs> what is happening? What are you doing? Um, can you please just leave a question? Because I, I feel like I'm going to the... Yeah, you guys uh, there's no one. You, yeah, there's yeah, no one leaving questions anymore. And I want to answer them. I want to talk. Even if it's like, you know... How many things are in your pocket right now? Three. How many things are in your pocket? Three. I don't I, oh, two, actually. Nothing. You don't have a wallet or a phone. No, or... It's all right there. Anyway, this was a great episode. Sorry, Landry, that it had to end in such a stupid way. Um, Keyword is goddamn motherfuckers. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's not do that. I'm getting um, a little bored, a little antsy. Okay. Coffee. Hey, thank you for watching. I'm Adios. not bored. I'm having Bye. a great time. Okay, I know. Thanks, guys.